Crocodile by Jeanne Willis By the inky, stinky swamp where no one ever goes Cliff, the little crocodile, found a pile of clothes A slinky frock, stilettos and a string of pretty pearls and a pair of frilly underwear made for dancing girls He zipped himself into the frock it fitted him just fine. He whirled the pearls around his head and said, I am divine. Then he sighed. How stylish and fabulous this feels. And did a twirl and strutted in his sky-high scarlet heels. Look at you. You're what? You're who? The mean hyenas laughed. A croc dressed in a frock, they mocked. You really do look daft. Is this a joke? You are a bloke. Have you gone barking mad? Stop dressing like a girly, or we'll go and tell your dad. Cliff's crocodilly daddy was a fierce looking guy, a motor biking baddie with a patch over his eye. No one ever challenged him because nobody dared. He even had the elephants and lions running scared. But Cliff adored his daddy, for although he looked a thug, he always gave him bedtime kisses and a manly hug. But would his father love him if he saw him in a frock? Or would he be ashamed of him, or sad and die of shock? Afraid of what his dad might say, Cliff fell upon his knees and begged the mean hyenas, Do not tell my father, please. I've never dressed like this before. Allow me to explain. I'm just rehearsing for a play. It's showtime once again. But they did not believe him. And they giggled and they jeered. What show? Where are the posters? Never heard of it, they sneered. It's a summer one, this Saturday. Cliff fibbed in great despair. Then we'll sell tickets to our friends. <laughs> They sniggered. <laughs> See you there! Although they knew it was not true, they ran and spread the word. Come to the special summer show, they said to Beast and Bird. And as they told Cliff's father of this most exciting news, Freddy Frog found Cliff in hiding, crying in his shoes. There is no summer play he wept. Perhaps I should confess, I, I just feel happier in heels. And don't you love this dress? I, I want to tell my father, but I don't think I'm ready. Until you are, let's get on with the show, suggested Freddy. He gathered all his froggy friends and lots of jungle folks and swiftly wrote a summer show with songs and jolly jokes. He gave them all a part to play, and Cliff would be the star. Let's show the world, he said to Cliff. How wonderful you are. They rehearsed in moonlit secret, in a cave beside the sand. And Freddy hired his Uncle Charles to organize a band. He asked his Auntie Gladys to make costumes, wigs and hats, while the beavers built a stage assisted by the meerkats. Then Freddy got some glowworms in to act as little lights as the turtles taught the dance steps in their tutus and their tights. And Cliff knew all the moves and all the words to every song. Alas, at Friday's dress rehearsal, all his lines were wrong. Cliff ran into the wings in tears, afraid to go on stage. Tomorrow was the actual show. What if he lost his page? What if his father didn't come and it was all a waste? Or worse, what if he did come and it wasn't to his taste? What if he said, No son of mine will dress in pearls and lace. And what if he stopped loving him and left him in disgrace? Freddy listened quietly. And then he said to Cliff, My friend, why sit there worrying about what if, what if, what if? What is, is all that matters. 
And we are the way we are. You're you, no matter what you wear. And so is your papa. Cliff thought about it long and hard. And then he said, I'm me. I'll play my part with all my heart. And what will be, will be. That's the way, said Freddy Frog. And when the big day came, Cliff stole the show. His father cheered. My son has shot to fame. I'm proud of you, my boy, he clapped as Cliffy gave a bow. He kissed him, then he whispered, May I have my pearls back now? And to everyone's astonishment and Cliff's delighted squeals, his dad was wearing fabulous, adorable high heels. <laughs> <laughs>